CNM Seeds Wheat School is brought to you by Bear Crop Science. Peter, what's one of the main advantages of frost seeding? Yeah, so the big advantage of frost seeding is more yield. And, and that just has to really resonate with growers. In the data that we've worked on, and we've been working now on frost seeding for about 10 years, uh, we get up to 40% increase in yield with spring wheat. And on average, we're running around a 25% yield increase. So just tremendous increased yield potential. Uh, you also get better weed control with frost seeding because the canopy will compete better. Uh, you tend to get less disease with frost seeding because often rust is part of free trade with the United States. It blows up on the trade winds and so your earlier seeding, uh, the rust doesn't get there as early so we have less disease problems. Just a whole range of things from that standpoint that are benefits. But the big push absolutely is more yield. So if, if I'm going to consider uh, frost seeding this year, uh, what are some of the, sounds like there's some real advantages with the yield increase of 40%, but what are some of the challenges or some of the, the real risks or things I need to be thinking about? Yeah, so the big challenges are the weather conditions in order to allow you to do that. So you can't frost seed when there's six inches of frost because that will be taking your $40,000 drill or your $80,000 air seeder or whatever out there and just like driving it up and down on concrete and it won't last very long. It'll be pinging blades and all those wonderful things. So, so you really, it's a, it's a very, very time sensitive and the frost has to come out and then we get that night that's minus three or minus four or minus five where you get just enough frost to carry the equipment and allow you to punch the seed through the frost and into the soil and get the job done. So one of the big disadvantages is number one, you lose a lot of sleep because you don't know for sure. The weatherman does not give accurate predictions so he'll say it's going to minus five and you'll stay awake that night and sit at the edge of the field or wake up at one in the morning to see and it's still at minus one and it's not enough frost to carry you. So, so you lose a fair bit of sleep. And, and the other challenge uh, just is, is getting enough acres done because those windows tend to be fairly small. You'll start running at midnight and you might be out of the field at 7 in the morning if it's a really sunny warm day coming or some other times like we have run, actually we've run for 48 hours straight some years where it stayed cloudy and just stayed at that minus 2, minus 3 kind of temperature through the day. But the window of, of opportunity tends to be fairly narrow. So getting enough acres done or getting all your acres done sometimes isn't possible and, and you definitely lose sleep. So in terms of uh, seeding equipment, is there, any, is there a certain type of opener or seeding system that works best with frost seeding? Yeah, so absolutely the, the single disc openers tend to do the best job on frost seeding. It's not that you can't use the Coulter style drills, they, they will do the job, but then if you're going to use a Coulter style drill, it's really much better if you can use a, a ripple Coulter, a plow type Coulter in front of the double disc openers because uh, it's frozen soil and the more of it you try to disturb, the tougher it is to actually do the job. And so you take a, an opener, like a single disc opener on the John Deere, on the, on the Crust Buster, on some of those drills where you're just just slicing through and dropping the seed in and not trying to do as much soil disturbance as some of the other no-till drills. Those drills okay. work best on frost seeding. Uh, so the other question is seeding rates. Should we be going with the same seeding rates or should we be thinking, okay, we're really early here in the season, yeah. we need to increase them? Yeah, awesome question. It's, it's excellent. You, you know something about this stuff. It's good. <laughs> sort of. Anyway, no, excellent question. And the answer is that, that again, we've done that work and so we generally have a seeding rate range and on spring wheat the seeding rate range is 1.2 to 1.6 million seeds per acre. Uh, yeah, growers hate seeds per acre but the answer is that the lower seeding rate is for optimal seeding conditions. If you're putting seed into frozen soil that is not optimal seeding conditions so you run at the high rate. You would run at 1.6 million but what's intriguing is we thought maybe we'd need to go even higher than that, up to two million, when we put it into that really hostile environment. But the answer is no. Yes, you're putting it into a hostile environment. Yes, you will get less plants established, but because you have that extended period of cool weather when it's growing, it tillers much better. And so at that same seeding rate, you get more tillers and you end up still with that 40% yield. So yes, you need the, the upper end of seeding rate range, but you don't need to go above that. So, and, and finally, the thing that I would think would be a given, uh, if we're going to seed that early into the frost, 
uh, we should be using a seed treatment, right? Yeah, no question. Uh, in fact, I've had uh, some, some organic producers and, and some producers in Quebec that, that uh, grow uh, the one-year pesticide-free pesticide grain. It's kind of a, a special niche market. If you're planting seed that is untreated into those hostile in environments, uh, then all bets are off. I really think, well, it's essential. I, I just don't, won't, will not recommend it if you're not going to use a seed tree. Thanks a lot, Peter.